My name is Caroline. Uh, I work at the Welsh Mountain Zoo. I'm a keeper here. I work with the sea lions and the birds of prey and our penguins. Um, doing maths, uh, even in primary school through to secondary school, I find it really difficult. Numbers just um, eluded me and uh, I even had an after school tutor with maths. So I, I did find it really difficult, but it's, it's an important thing to have and I'm glad I did it. Every day I use my times tables, which I know is the most basic maths, but it's, it's really useful if you have, you know, six animals that need 70 grams of food. You just sort of work it out like that and it's just a lot easier. So I'm always using my times tables. Um, but also as well, I think um, maths does make you think about problems and approach problems in a different way which you don't think at the time and you think that maths is pointless and you won't be able to use it in life but it makes you uh, approach problems in a different way so I think it, it's important to, um, to learn a, a different way of thinking that you don't get from other subjects. It's so important in my job to measure food correctly. It's it, it, well, it's the difference with some animals between life and death because you need to uh, accurately uh, calculate due to their body weight, their life stage as well, if they're pregnant or lactating, uh, especially if you're um, hand rearing an animal as well. Um, recently I hand reared a barn owl from, a, from a, a tiny chick to a big fluffy barn owl and uh, every single day at uh, seven in the morning you have to weigh bird and whatever the weight is for that uh, particular time you then need to calculate 10% of its body weight and that's what you would feed it so you'd feed it 10% of its body weight and uh, if you underfeed it it's very harmful and if you overfeed it it's even more harmful so it's it's so important to to really calculate the amount of food um, and especially with the, the size of the animals as well you have different sized animals in an enclosure and you need to make sure that they are all getting there daily amounts. Enclosure design um, is, is another area where we would use numeracy. It's, it's really important that you have the correct amount of space uh, per animal. So if you have an enclosure with um, animals that use trees, for example, like gibbons, they need a lot of swinging space. So their um, uh, sort of height space to floor space ratio is going to be different so they do need a lot more height to swing around throw themselves around they, they do need that space uh, whereas floor space isn't as important to them whereas with our penguins we have 18 penguins and they uh, obviously don't fly they use the ground constantly um, apart from when they're swimming so you need to work out, depending on the amount of animals you have in enclosure, they need to have at least um, a square metre per animal. So you also need to take into consideration if we're going to be getting more in the future. If they breed and they have their young, then you're going to need more space as well. So at the very minimum, you need about a square metre for each penguin. And then with the water volume as well, um, depending on the species, if you have quite uh, an aquatic animal, the, um, the percentage of the water is going to need to be higher than the, uh, the land percentage. So with our sea lions as well, we've got about 60% water to 40% land for them because that's quite important because they're aquatic mammals. So they do need a lot of uh, uh, movement for the, uh, in the water. So it's yeah quite important. Um, I have a lot of advice for children at school. Um, Basically, if you're, if you're good or you're bad at maths, maths is really important and that was something that I didn't want to accept when I was a kid. Um, I, I really didn't like maths in school, um, but you have to put the effort in. It's really important if you're going to college, if you're going to university and any job you get, they look for certain qualifications and maths is unfortunately one of them and you whether you're good at it or you're bad at it I was bad at it and I got through it I learned um, various different ways and I use it every day now and I don't even think about it I don't even I don't even think about using maths anymore it just comes naturally and that's something that comes with time um, a little bit of practice so it's so important especially for a specific job you want to get when you leave school maths is important and it's an important foundation for any kind of learning and problem solving and even video games. Mm -hmm.